Hey everybody, Tom Sparks with Sparks Media Group. Today, I'm gonna to show you the process of doing the Matterport Pro 3 scan of a hotel room. Now, there's nothing unusual about this hotel room. It's pretty small, about 400 square feet. Uh, we're not gonna do it really any different than we would a house but it's just a different type of a space, so I figured I'd show you guys the process. First step is to ensure that the room is situated and set up the way that you want it. Uh, I put the toilet seat down. I noticed that this drain cover was standing up, so I put that down. I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to the Pro 3's Wi-Fi. And then we're going to begin. My goal when doing hotel rooms is to give a consistent tour experience for the client as well as the viewer. Um, a lot of these rooms are very similar, and in today's example, um, this is just one room that I'm doing, but I actually did 10 different floor plans that were all very similar. Uh, and so, in doing so, I tried to keep all the scanning very consistent. I tried to scan in the same pattern and in the same places that I did for each of the other floor plans. While doing so, you want to uh, give a smooth walkthrough for the viewer, and you want to make sure that on the mini-map, everything is filled in, all the, the black areas are filled in. Getting these type of gigs can be a little bit tricky. Trying to find the right person to contact in order to sell your services uh, can be a little tricky as well. Usually it's a marketing manager, a sales manager, catering manager, that type of person. Uh, these type of hotels are owned by big chains, or big names I should say. Um, this one I think was a Marriott. And they have a preferred vendor list. Uh, they usually have their own photographers already in place. And so it can be really difficult to try to get on that list or to try to become their preferred photographer. I happen to do a lot of work with various hotels, and so my name has started to spread around where people just know that they can re rely on me and they call me. If you're interested in doing this type of work, where I would start is actually uh, if you're traveling or just because uh, rent a hotel room and scan it take photos of it uh, do a 3d tour of it 360 photos whatever your services you're trying to sell capture those uh, and then po post them on Google uh, leave the hotel a review and post those images on there and you'll notice that they start getting a lot of views and uh, once you get those views up, then I would reach out to those contacts at the hotel and tell them what you did and offer your services to them. And that's how I've gotten a lot of gigs. I think as of this video, my views on my Google Photos have topped over 3.5 million, which is pretty impressive if I say so myself. When I'm doing these type of scans, uh, we don't ever scan inside closets. We don't find that they add any real value to the tours, so we tend to skip those. 
One thing I do do is um, mark the mirrors and the windows as I'm scanning. I do this because it's easier to do it while you're on site and while you have um, a visual memory of where you're at. Uh, and it just makes it fairly accurate and simple. And so by the time I'm done with this scan, everything's been marked as it needs to be. And I can just hit the upload button and continue on throughout my day. I'm still impressed by the speed of the Pro 3. Uh, this hotel room, again, was about 400 square feet, and we were able to do the entire thing in about six minutes. No alignment issues at all, and although there wasn't any sunspots on the floor, uh, the Pro 3 would have handled those perfectly. So there you have it guys, 10 scans, 6 minutes, and we're all done. Thanks for watching.